I know I may be a few days late with this, but let's get a last bit of 2020 business out the way. Every single year, most sneaker YouTubers like to do a little top 10 list of all the shoes that have released over the past year. Now, I was going to do the same exact thing myself, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to just switch things up and do my top 5 most worn sneakers over the year. Now, not all of these shoes are going to be things that came out in 2020, but they're going to be things that I just found myself wearing more often than not over the past year or so. Before we get into the list, I want to thank everyone that's been participating down in the comments. And if you haven't so far, please go ahead and sub up, do not be a stranger. Subscribe to the channel now, like this video, comment, and chop it up with me down in the comments section. I try to get back to every single person that comments because I do appreciate it so much that you guys uh, watch my video and have something to say. And I like to get new information from new people. That's always a, it's actually a good thing to build a sort of community around this whole channel. I always think about what I want to get out of this. And um, it's a fun way to kind of bring another dynamic to buying shoes. Everyone buys shoes. And uh, when you wear your shoes out, you know, you get a certain amount of compliments or comments, whatever. But um, this is a more specific, geared up way to get the sneaker, uh, sneaker conversation rolling. So uh, without further ado, my number five. The number five shoe on my list is this Air Jordan 1 Low Top in the Gold Toe colorway. Now I got this shoe pretty late in the year. I got it around September. Even though it came out earlier in the year, I was kind of sleeping on it. I was hesitant to get it for whatever reason. Once I finally got them, I found myself wearing them quite a bit. I really like the colorway. Something about the low top Jordan 1 silhouette really complements my overall body type and my foot shape. So it's a good look for me. I really like everything about it. It hasn't been creasing up that much on me, I know. Most people complain about the patent leather creasing a lot and especially on Jordan 1's you see a lot of creasing right around the toe box area. But for me, I haven't had too much problem with it. I don't know if that's because I wear my shoes kind of uh, conservatively, if you will. I don't want to um, necessarily go out and party in them or do whatever and mess them all up. And I'm definitely not stomping through the mud either. I, uh, you know, I avoid grass when possible. The number four sneaker on my personal list is this Air Jordan 5 in the silver tongue colorway, fire red if you will. This is one of my favorite shoes of all time. I was waiting on these to come out, I mean, ever since I heard they were re-releasing. I still have my pair from 2012. They're pretty beat and I feel like these are going to follow along that same path. And I got a few pairs of these just in case I beat them up a little too much. So, this for me. Fives, like like if you've watched my channel, you know fives are one of my favorite silhouettes. Probably my favorite overall silhouette. They're not exactly easy to wear for everyone, but I really love them. And to me, it's a real classic vibe. Number three on my list is this Air Max 97 in the Sunburst colorway. I'm a big fan of any colorway that involves the sun, the red, oranges, yellows. I really love those colors. To me, they pop and they hit a special type of way. I wear these all the time. I did wear these casually at first, but they kind of degenerated into a shoe that I would wear to the gym. You know, elliptical, little bike action, little row machine. These kind of hold you down. And I mean, walking around them, walking around in them, excuse me, is it gets better and better as you keep doing it. So these were heavy in the rotation. I wore these quite a bit over the past year. They go good with shorts, jeans, whatever. And the Air Max, you can't really go wrong. Number two on my list, super important, super dope shoe. I felt the need to double up on this shoe and uh, I don't regret that decision at all. It came out around All-Star Weekend and um, I don't even know what to call them for real, but I wanna say Fire Red 3. I know they're not Fire Red 3, but this All Over Red 3. And I did go ahead and spring for that Chicago Air Tab on the back. These, you can't go wrong with these in my opinion. I've been rocking these a ton. And um, like I said, I doubled up on them just in case. Before I go ahead and get into my top number one shoe that I wore most of the year, I want to give two honorable mentions to two sneakers, well, two shoes that I wore quite a bit. Most of them, you wouldn't even really think about putting on a top list like this. Well, most of them, either one of them, you wouldn't really think about putting on a top tier list. But for me, 
I wore them so many times, I got to give them a little bit of love. And uh, I have one right here. You wouldn't see a, a shoe like this or a sneaker or whatever you want to call it, a boot. I say I call it a boot. You wouldn't see something like this on a top 10 sneaker video too much, but these just hit different. I get so many compliments on these. I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't mention how many times I wore them. So I wear these all the time. The other shoe I got a ton of work with is these Kyrie Sixes. This is just a school colorway, but I wear these things all the time. I mean, I hoop in these pretty much nonstop. I've hooped in a few other shoes throughout the year, but I always felt myself uh, coming back to these. They did me a lot of good. I mean, they didn't do so good for everyone else, but they never let me down. All right, right down to my number one shoe. Not a shoe, again, that people will be talking about a lot. I haven't heard too many people even mention this shoe. To me, I mean, I really love them a lot. The material, incredible. And uh, I did mention earlier that the Air Jordan 1 Low has been really big this year. And I mean, the way that the silhouette fits on my fit personally, I'm a taller but, but a more slender guy. So these shoes just do right for me. And I wore these to the dirt. I mean, I'm honestly thinking about doubling up on these, but these Air Jordan 1 Lows. I forget what they're called. But I don't care what they're called because they're fire. I don't want to make this video too much longer because like you and like I think everyone across the world, I'm ready for everything that's involved with 2020 to be completely over with. And um, for that reason, I want this video to be short and right to the point. But I don't want to lose this opportunity to take a second and just remember all the people and all the things that we lost over the past year. I know that normally at the end of these videos I like to do a little funny or like a little comedy skit. This particular video I'm going to do a little something different so if you want to check it out to the end, thank you. And um, again, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. And I'll see you guys real, real soon. Thank you.